I was speaking with Labour spokespeople yesterday in a huddle with other journalists after Prime Minister's questions, and, and the question was raised, what is the difference? And, and the only difference that the spokesperson for the Labour Party could say was that Keir Starmer and indeed Rishi Sunak were fined. I, I noticed in your letter that you sent to Durham Constabulary, you mentioned several adverts that were placed on Durham constituency Labour Party social media at the time, uh, advertising uh, what was a quiz uh, and a social event. We have a picture of one of those Facebook adverts now. Friday the 30th of April, 7pm, precisely when Sir Keir Starmer was pictured uh, drinking with members of the constituency Labour Party. What does that advert say to you? Look, it, it seems to me that one of the things that Keir Starmer raised earlier on was around those quiz nights in Downing Street, and he really criticised those uh, online Zoom events taking place. And it looks like that the Labour Party in Durham, on the day that Keir Starmer was there, was doing exactly the same thing. I don't think we can have a situation where the man who aspires to be Prime Minister feels he should be held to a different standard to the man who is Prime Minister. I just want to see the rules interpreted fairly across the board. And I think that's what we're seeing at the moment, as more and more information comes out, it seems that Keir Starmer has less and less of a leg to stand on, and that he's been hammering the Prime Minister over the last few months, uh, and, but he, he seems to be uh, holding the, himself to a, to a totally different standard, and, and that's why I think it's so important now that Durham Police really properly re-examine the situation, and if they don't feel they can do it, then they should hand it over to the Met Police, uh, who obviously have been holding uh, a very different standard to what Durham Police have been doing down here in Westminster. Yes, there does seem to be a big difference between how different police authorities, whether it's Police Scotland, uh, Durham Constabulary or the Metropolitan Police, how they differently apply similar rules. I did notice in the letter uh, that they sent to you, they responded to you saying that they will consider the matters you raise under the Freedom of Information Act, but also, they say, they'll respond to the matters that you raise in your letter as well. To you, does that say that this is both a freedom of information request, but also something more? Yes, I, 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 what I've, the, the reason I asked about a freedom of information request was to find out what rules that they were using uh, in order to uh, decide whether or not to issue fixed penalty notices. And so once we've, once we've got that information, we'll be able to see what rules they're applying and, and why they're being applied in the way they are. But the other issue that uh, they raised in their letter is the fact that they said the Deputy Chief Constable was going to speak to the invest, uh, investigations team uh, about um, what went on and about the investigation into Keir Starmer. Uh, and and so I'm really hopeful that hopefully um, as soon as possible they'll be able to come back and say exactly uh, how they intend to proceed uh, one way or the other. Because I, I really do think that it's vital that whoever you are, whether you're aspiring to be Prime Minister or you are the Prime Minister, that the same rules apply to you. Because we can't have a situation where in one part of the country the rules are interpreted and dealt with in a totally different way for exactly the same sort of event. And as you said from that press huddle yesterday, Tom, you know, no Nobody can really explain to us what the difference is between what Keir Starmer was doing in Durham and what the Prime Minister uh, was doing in Downing Street. Apart from the fact, obviously, that the Prime Minister is in his home office, uh, you know, here in London, in his, uh, you know, in the building that he's in every day, whereas Keir Starmer had travelled halfway across the country in order to attend those events.